Morning people, welcome back to F Politics. I've just been on ITV's Good Morning Britain and BBC Radio 5 Live discussing Rule Britannia. Because after the cello player Sheku Kane Mason decided not to stay for the end of the proms because he didn't want to listen to the song Rule Britannia, you have the usual right wingers getting up in arms calling him unpatriotic. But honestly, some of the arguments used to defend that song to me today were insane. So let me lay out some of the facts. Because the UK was actively kidnapping and enslaving millions of black people between the 1500s and the 1800s, and that song was written in the 1700s. So it was written by a society that was engaged in the slave trade, basically celebrating how we ourselves will never ever be slaves. So it was boasting about our position at the top of the food chain. So quite frankly, if you're happy to sing a song that celebrates slavery, you go right ahead. But my generation, millennials and Gen Z, want nothing to do with you. Mm. We've got higher priorities in terms of equality, namely um, improving, making CVs anonymous, job applications anonymous, so that if you've got a black sounding name, you don't have to send 80% more applications to get a call back, that sort of thing. Okay. Not singing, celebrating slavery. The, actual the reason why I opened up like that is because this whole discussion, this whole debate is a distraction. It's a diversion designed to make people think that the main thing that anti-racists are obsessed with is which songs are sung at the proms. You see, they want to make people think that those of us who want equality are a threat to British culture. And so they point to things like Rule Britannia, but the reality is that's not our priority. Most of us don't even know the words to that song. That's why I pointed to the practical things that can be done to massively improve the lives of millions of people. Because making job applications anonymous wouldn't just tackle racial discrimination, it would also mean you wouldn't see where somebody went to school, which town they grew up in. It would be a major blow to discrimination on the grounds of class, sex, race, region, when it comes to our ability to get a job, to make money, to have a better quality of life. Far more than whether a bunch of out of touch idiots want to sing about slavery on the BBC. And yet this was an argument I heard a lot today. It's the song is not racist, it's a patriotic song, and there's a difference. Along with a whole bunch of people on Twitter saying that I'm a traitor to the UK because I'm not a fan of this song. But here's the problem with that argument. Yeah, but I find this idea of it being patriotic can be completely just wrong because it's the opposite of patriotic. It's highlighting one of the worst things our country has no, ever it done. Isn't. I it's disagree shaming with our you. country. If you want Absolutely to sing a patriotic not. song, Absolutely sing about some not. of the great stuff we've done. Don't sing yeah. about how we killed and enslaved people. Well, like, it's crazy how willing these right wingers are to just tell on themselves because they're saying bluntly on national TV that singing a song that was put together by the UK at a time when we were actively enslaving millions of people that brags about how we ourselves were always going to be at the top of the food chain in that particular industry fills them with a sense of national pride. But my favourite argument that these people try to use is this. I'm sure there are a lot of patriotic people in the West Africa squadron, um, the naval West African squadron, who were involved in, um, when they ruled the waves, were involved in stopping slave ships, right, and freeing a lot of people. There was, uh, I think, over 160,000 African people who would have been slaves were not slaves because of the Navy. And when I was on the BBC, the historian they put me up against actually said these words. And say people like Femi should be thankful that Britannia ruled the waves because it was the Royal Navy oh, ruling the waves that ended the slave trade. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine if a gang of rapists wanted credit because after 300 years, they finally decided to stop raping people? And no, that's not an exaggeration because guess what slavery included? Also, to pretend that colonialism and empire isn't relevant now is just stupid. Like, open the news. Right now, the UK government is actively supporting one country completely taking over another country in Palestine. Our government is currently supporting the killing and the forced removal from their homelands of potentially millions of people. So the people who support singing songs that glorify that kind of practice, they're right. We should preserve our history, but most importantly, we should learn the lessons from it. I'm Femi, make sure you follow F Politics so politics doesn't F you. Have a great week.